Hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello. I'm here. It's Wednesday. Uh, welcome to tonight's stream. We're going to be checking out the Fields of Mystery a demo. Uh, and then if I finish that too quickly, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll play like Balotra or something. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I hope you're all doing well though. Hope you're all having a good Wednesday. I had a little bit of a disaster. That's why this stream is called Morgan's Disaster. Uh, I had these, like, two, like, garlic knot parmesans last night. And that shit tasted so good. And then I woke up this morning, like, nauseous. And, like, I was just like, oh man, maybe I gotta eat something. And then after I ate something... Bro, that shit is not a restroom. I was fighting for my damn life in there. And then I still went to work after that. And then I had another toilet disaster, and I was like, uh, maybe not. The manager was nice enough to be like, yeah, no, you, you're fine. Go home. And I told him, like, listen, you need me in tomorrow? You just let me know. Because I am missing a couple hours now. Which is annoying, but also, like... I mean, shit, when I came home, I had another, another toilet disaster. It was bad. It was bad. And gross. Ew. Um. Also, just, like, I haven't, haven't streamed, like, in five days because my head was just, like, I don't know. I've been getting more frequent headaches. And it's to the point now where I'm like, maybe I just gotta suck it up, take some ibuprofen, and then still try to stream. Because I wanna stream. But if I cancel every time I get a headache, I'm gonna be canceling every day, basically. This is like the one day I don't have a headache, so of course I have to have, like, I don't know, some kind of food poisoning. Fuck! Ass! Um... Other than that, though, I'm okay. I beat, like, a dragon infinite wealth while I was gone. That game's really good. Um, I don't think it's as good as Yakuza 7. I think that's the, the general consensus. At the very least, is that infinite wealth is not as good as Yakuza 7. But I kind of still think it's pretty good, though. I don't know. I was still, like, super invested in all the side stuff. The problem with that game is that it just kind of stretches itself too thin. I think it's a classic example of, like, a video game being more ambitious than it can afford. Uh-oh. My intro. What happened to my intro? I don't know what the fuck's going on. Enjoy the purple. Um. But yeah, Infinite Wealth definitely feels like a game that stretches itself a bit thin. Because you're following both, like, Ichiban and Kiryu's stories. Um. And as a result, like, especially in the second half of the game, it feels like the plot spreads itself too thin. You're focusing on, like, basically two separate campaigns. And it's like, both of those campaigns individually are, like, fine. I can see why people don't think they really come together at the end, though. I mean, I still like all the characters. I, I liked all the party interactions. You could get the interactions from eating the food and stuff. I did all of, like, Kiryu's side stories, because I was really interested in that. Gave me some good lore on him. One of these days I'll play the old Yakuza games. I don't know if I could do it right now because I've spent like the past two months playing like 150 hours of Yakuza. That's like crazy for me. That's like the amount of time I would spend in a couple months in like my favorite series of all time. Like I don't know, you could probably catch me playing 150 hours of like Pokemon in two months. But just for Yakuza? 
That's wild. I mean, it's a good game series, though. I'm, I've, I've enjoyed the two Ichiban games, and one of these days I'll play the older games, even though I know they are not uh, JRPGs. And hi, V. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. It's so daunting, though, because now I'm thinking about, like, if I do, when I do go back to the old games, that's like seven games on its own. And as far as I know, they're pretty, pretty long, too. What is my disaster? Uh, I had two garlic knot parmesans, and I woke up nauseous, and it made me feel like shit. I tried to go to work, but then I had a toilet disaster. And that's my disaster. That's actually why I'm starting the stream a little early, because I left work early because of the toilet disaster. Thankfully, we had some medicine in the house to help. Um, so I have those. I, 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 I was told, apparently, you take them once after going to the bathroom. So I did, last time I went to the bathroom. Um... But yeah, now I'm like, now I'm like in between like games and like, I don't want to play anything that big on my own right now because again, Yakuza 7 and Infinite Wealth were like 150 hours of my life. That shit on its own was like an entire week of my life and it was a good week. I don't regret it, but I don't usually play video games that are that long. You know what I mean? Like, you guys know me. I like- I like games that I could beat in, like, a night if I really dedicated myself to it. That's the kind of hashtag gamer I am. And there are longer video games that I do like, but... I think the longer the video game is, the more likely it is to feel padded. Like... FF7 Remake is, like, the perfect example of a video game that I think is way too fucking padded for its own good. That video game does not need to be 40 hours. It wasn't a terrible 40 hours, but God's sake, they could have told that exact same story and had that exact same world in, like, half the time. I'm kind of a purveyor of, like, the 10 to 20 hour JRPGs. I don't know, that's what makes, like, Chrono Trigger so good. Chrono Trigger is, like, a 20-hour game. You get in, you get out. Like, it doesn't waste your time. You know, there's there's not a moment of Chrono Trigger where you're playing it, and you're like, this feels like padding. It's just constant, like, you're going through the, the battles, you're going through the story. It feels good to do. It's a good game. I mean, I like Super Mario RPG a lot. Super Mario RPG is also a great game. That's like a 10-hour RPG. That game, that's another game that, like, gets in and gets out. I feel like there's probably a decent amount of the Mario RPGs that are like that. Thousand of Your Door is probably one of the longer ones, I feel like. Because Paper Mario 64, I don't think, was, like, more than, like, 25 hours. And even though... Uh, 25 is a little longer than I was talking about, but I don't think Paper Mario 64 was that long. Meanwhile, I'm like eight hours into like Thousand Year Door. I'm only at the end of chapter two. Like, goddamn. Goddamn. Oh, you can hear my puppies barking. When did I get the game started? When did I get the game started? I'm doing a lot of talking. It's because I was deprived of streaming. Cause my head hurt. But I've been, like, I promise I've been wanting to stream. Steam is updating some random nonsense? Bro, just open the game. Oh, brother, just open the game. Right now, I kind of started a playthrough of Mario Bros. Wonder. I don't know if I'm going to see it through, but that is a good video game. 
It was a very good video game. I don't know. I think it's one of those things where, like, playing stuff on my Switch is, like, hard now. Because, like, all I can think is, like, man, the Switch 2 is going to come out, and then, like, the backwards compatibility is probably going to make games, like, run way better on it. Reminded you that you found a Vocaloid song about puppies that's been your brain worm for three days that you thought you got rid of until now? I'm sorry. Sure, I'll, I'll, I'll hear it. Oh, this is already hitting me, like, the right way. This, like, SNES ass. Like, why, why is this so big? Oh my god, it thinks it's Arzette. Bro thinks she's Arzette. Man, I, for I still have the Arzette scene, huh? I'm, like, so bad about cleaning my sources in OBS. I have, like, sources here from, like, last year, still. I have the fucking Guilty Gear Strive, like, tab labeled, or source labeled, rather. I haven't played Guilty Gear Strive. I, I streamed that game once, and that was probably the last time I played that game. And I think Guilty Gear Strive is good. I just don't get a lot of opportunities to play it. But yeah, I love this, like, SNES-esque, like, OST so far. Just just from the title screen music. I had been looking at this game for a while, because I really liked the art style. This, like, kind of, like, 90s anime, like, style hits me the right way. I mean, just look at how nice the sprite work is. Still working, sis? Oh. Uh, Aeland? Aeland? I didn't realize how late it had gotten. I thought you could use a ni nice cup of coffee. Thank you. So how is the town revitalization plan coming along? It's nearly there, I think. I've cataloged the earthquake's damage, listed out the various repairs necessary, and even made plans to replenish our emergency stockpile by the end of spring. I hope it's poison. I already had poison. I don't need more of it. Only thing we're missing right now is the help to see it through. With mother and father called away to the capital, and people leaving after the earthquake, there certainly are fewer helping hands around. If only we could attract new villagers to move here. Mystery is such a beautiful place. The small town charm, the rich history of the area, the rolling farmland. That's it! The old farm south of town! Why don't we send a notice to the Adventurers Guild in the capital? Surely someone out there will agree to aid the town in exchange for land with such potential. That's a great idea. I'll get started on it. Thank you, Aeland. I wonder who will answer the call. Oh, we can customize our character. Okay, they're like... This is dope. This is dope. Base developers for having the starting pronouns be they, them. Honestly, like, pretty close. I see. So there, there's not a full month calendar, or a full year calendar, but, I mean, I was born April 5th, that's spring. Comes pretty damn close. Oh, we can name our farm. Find my farm! Um...
We're gonna be at a boxo man's house. Got the baseball cap, the beret. Hmm, I don't know if I'm much of a beret person. Now the witch hat? The witch hat though? The pointy ass witch hat looking like a traffic cone? Right up my alley. Oh, you can't wear both. That's so sad. They don't have glasses yet? Cone hats are so useful. They literally are. Dude, can I tell you, though? I, I did have dinner. I made myself, like, a couple PB&J sandwiches, and I was like, man, you know, the humble PB&J, it's kind of underrated. Like, okay, maybe that's not the right term, but it's, like, it's, like, kind of better than you think. It's, like, I don't know. When you think of, like, PB&J, it's kind of just, like, school lunch. But, like, a PB&J is, like, I don't know. There's a reason that we keep doing it. It's still so good. It's also nice to eat a PB&J sandwich as like an adult and I don't get skeeved out at like bread crust. Always forget about the PB&J until you need it and when you get it, it's the best ever. Obviously the jelly does a lot of good work for it, but I gotta be honest also like Peanut butter is just, like, fucking good. Peanut butter just kind of goes crazy. Not really a overtly purple. We could go, like, blue. I don't know. The purple options aren't doing it for me. can get the droopy eyes. I don't know, like, the, the middle, elementary schoolers got, got it right. The PB&J is like, maybe, maybe the goat. Kinda wanna try a crunchy peanut butter and jelly toasted sandwich soon. That does sound pretty good. Also, hi, Belle. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. This game is, in fact, real. Dude, can I be honest? I can't tell what the difference is between all these eyes. These all look the same to me. You can't make the eyes, like, six pixels and then tell me to customize the eyes. I don't know the difference. Oh wait, it's different colors. I can tell, I can tell in the bigger sprite, but on this menu, it's so tiny. I can't tell. They're green eyes. I mean, I would assume so. It works. I've got green eyes. I don't have blue air, hair, but I do have green eyes. I have green eyes and pronouns. and do the eyelashes. Dude, again, these all look the same to me. Oh, wait, that's a different kind of eye. Completely. If you want to have eyelashes, it counts as a different eye. You can go with that. I don't know if I'm a sleeveless top kind of person. Now jacket and tee, now you're cooking. That's more up my alley. And you got the famous farmer outfits. Fucked up and they limit you to human skin colors? I want to be blue. Like the Avatar movie. You could be like the 
people in Avatar. Yeah, this works for me. I think. I don't have any back accessories. Like, what happened to the girl in Willy Wonka Factory? We don't talk about what happened in Willy Wonka Factory. That man is a sick fuck. He's sick. Alright, this works. Oh, look at how cute my character is. Let's go. Looks better from the side than the front. But don't we all? Hello there. I hope I get to see the doctor in a demo. Honestly, she was like half the reason I wanted to play this game, because I wanted to get married to the doctor. Didn't expect to see anyone else out this way. The roads have been a real mess since the earthquake. I'm Balor, a traveling merchant. Pleased to meet you. Let me guess, you're here at Lady Adeline's request? She mentioned someone had taken up her offer. Uh, she was looking for a capable adventurer. We sure could use one. There's a lot to do to get Mistria back on his feet. I'll walk with you the rest of the way, if you don't mind the company. No wagons can get through since the bridge collapsed, so I've had to carry what I can on foot. We're doing the three face at each other? Great, let's go. We should be able to make it before it gets dark. Come on, we'll show you. We'll head straight to your new farmstead. This is, like, not my usual genre at all, also. I think I've played, like, maybe an hour of Stardew Valley and, like, an hour of Rune Factory, and I didn't get that much into either of them. I want to. They're, like, good games, but... The farming simulator genre has always eluded me a little bit, but... This game looked dope, so I was like, why not? Maybe this will be the one to to fix that. Lord Island. Wait, I just realized his name is Island, but it's spelled differently. That, I thought it was like Eland. Fuck, I'm an idiot. Lord Island. Look who I found out at the edge of the forest. Morgan, I presume. Welcome, welcome. I'm Island. It's wonderful to meet you. You're in good hands, Morgan. I'm off to the inn. It's been a long day and I need a hot meal. I'll see you around. So what do you think? Nice, isn't it? You're right outside of town. Great soil for farming. Does he know your name? Because I took the request. To... To help the town. Look at this house. Four stout walls with a rich history. Let's go inside, shall we? This is gonna be like a male living space. I told you. Ah. D just a minute. Oh, she's cute. That is definitely a male living space. It uh, appears we're not quite ready for you. But not to worry, I'm sure she'll only be in a moment. Should we go in and help? No need. <laughs> you must be Morgan. I'm Adeline. Thank you so much for answering my request. My brother and I are so excited to have a real adventurer here to help the town. I hope you like your new farm. It has a lot of potential, don't you think? Why don't you come inside? Oh, now it's nice. Wow, that was, yeah, it was fast. <laughs> Would you like a quick tour of the room? Sure. <laughs> Wonderful. This here is your diary. You can write in it when you want to record your story. And this, of course, is your new bed. 
Make sure you get to sleep by 2 a.m. each day to keep your stamina up. <laughs> Real world advice. We've also put this calendar up for you. You can use it to check when Mysteria holds its festivals and to check when everyone in town's birthdays are. And this storage chest here was made by Mysteria's very own carpenter, Rice. You can store items here if your bag starts to get too full. And that's about it for your tour. I thought you might be hungry when you got here, so I stopped by the inn and picked up a bowl of their famous vegetable soup. Oh, I'm sure you're worn out from your long day. We won't keep you up. Welcome to Mystery of Morgan. We're so glad to have you. Let's meet up tomorrow so we can start discussing our plans for the town restoration. From what I know, this demo has lets you play the first three days of the game. I don't know how long a day takes. I have no idea. Everybody loves doing that face. It's kind of awesome. Oh yeah, it says right there. Okay, so we get two magic spells. We can go to the mines. We have bonus items. Full restore spell. Get the shored. Dude, can I equip it? How do I equip the sword? Oh, it has a little thing to help you keep track of what everybody likes. So, you know, if you find, like, one loved gift, you can just keep giving that to them over and over. Unless you're going for completion, then, uh, well... You're fucked. This demo came out, like, two hours ago. Not even. It's been, like, half a day. How do I equip the sword? I have no idea. I guess we'll find out later. Ah, hello. You must be Morgan. I'm Saline. It's so nice to meet you. I live in the cottage north of here. I'm so excited that we'll be neighbors. In fact, I brought you a little housewarming, um, field warming present. Here is a hoe. <laughs> I know that's a farming tool, but that doesn't make it less funny. For one of the first things, like, someone says to me is like, here's a hoe. Alright, it's a little funny. You'll need it to till your fields. I love gardening myself, so I had this extra one lying around. If you want to expand your field size, though, you'll need a shovel. They are available at my family's general store. And here are three bags of tulip seeds to get you started. Our store also carries a selection of other seeds, so be sure to stop by. I hope you'll consider growing lots of flowers. Thank you. I love flowers. I'm more into potatoes. Um, I'm more into potatoes, cause, uh, that's how I feel like I am a potato. I would never say that shit. Except to make a mockery of anybody who dare say such a thing. Cause I'm evil, and I'm fucked up. A horse. Morning, neighbor. The name's Hayden. I run Sweetwater Farm to the west. You don't gotta tell me your name, Morgan. You're already the talk of the town. Hayden, you almost gallop straight into poor Morgan. Ha, <laughs> don't mind my horse. He just likes me to new folks as much as I do. Ha ha ha. Pleasure's all mine. Farmer after my own heart. Here, I brought you a little something. Take this watering can. You'll need to water your crops every day if you want them to grow big and strong. And here are three bags of turnip seeds. Turnips are good raw, and they're even better cooked. 
The whole town will surely appreciate more shipments of fresh produce. It's been a good while since I've been out here. Things sure have gotten overgrown. You need any pointers on getting started with your field? I'd love some tips. Use your hoe. Please. Plant seeds on the tilled soil. What are your crops every day? Harvest. Now don't be shy, Morgan. Come by any time if you want to chat. I'd love to introduce you to all my animals. I'm sure you must be eager to meet up with Adeline. Just head north of here and the road will take you right into town. Wait, what did she say that was advertising to kill us? Or to kill her? Man, I fucking suck at hoeing. Sorry about that, everyone. I didn't get the chance to put on VRB. Um, my mom didn't realize I had sandwiches, so she made me uh, soup. So I'm gonna have that tomorrow morning. I felt a little bad that I didn't say anything. <laughs> At the very least, though, it, ha it has been like over an hour since I had those sandwiches and they've been they've been sitting all right. I'm not like dying. But yeah, someone remind me to like put in the timestamp for BRB even though I didn't put the BRB screen up. Cuz like my ass will forget. If I don't see the Grinch when I'm like skimming through the VOD, like it's not going to happen. Okay. 
Dude, the turnip seeds are like trans. Do you see the color? Can you drown the flowers? If you like put too much water, will they get upset? Usually in farming games now. That's a relief. Yo, what's up? How are things on the farm, Morgan? Settled in yet? Remember, I'm just up the road if you need an extra pair of hands. I'm rummaging through your stuff now. Dude, my character's got the hops. Can't do this in Stardew Valley. Damn, the time is going faster than I thought it would, though. It's already 10.30 in the game. Guess for now, we'll just explore around town, see if we can meet any funny characters. The mushroom. Oh my, now who do we have here? Morgan, that's a nice name. My name is Elsie. I live in the manor house with my niece and nephew, Adeline and Island. Their parents, Baron and Baroness, spend most of their time in the capital, especially these days. I once did too. What grand times. But spending time in Mystria, you really start to appreciate country living. Well, be sure to stop by for a chat anytime, dear. I can share the latest gossip and even some romantic advice if you need it. <laughs> Trying not to look really miserable that you can't romance that character. Trying really, really hard to not break out into tears right now. It's not fucking fair. It's not fair. Oh, I don't have the cash. I don't have money. Jesse, I have no money for fucking bills and steam sales. Hi there, Morgan. I was hoping I'd run into you. Your timing is perfect. I'm sure you're eager to start helping Mystery and its citizens, and I'm here to tell you all about our town's request board. Come with me. As the name implies, villagers post their requests here every day. You'll receive rewards whenever you complete them. It's a great way to earn money, equipment, and most importantly, renown. Renown? Ah yes, let me explain the basics. As you know, Mystery is just one of the many towns that make up the Kingdom of Aldaria. All of them receive a town rank according to their renown level. Towns with a higher town rank enjoy more popularity and more support from the capital. Mystria's renown level was improving prior to the earthquake. Since that, then, though, we're down an entire town rank. As daughter and heiress of Mystria's Baron, improving this situation is my highest priority. With your help, we'll repair the earthquake's damage, raise Mystria's town rank, and put this village back on the map. Why don't you go ahead now and accept my first request? It's one I put up just for you. I'm sure you've met some of your neighbors already, but wouldn't it be nice to say hello to everyone? Don't be shy, introduce yourself. Okay, so we have to introduce ourselves to 22 people. I see. Perfect, that was easy, right? I'm sure you want to meet your new neighbors just as much as they want to meet you. And as you get to know them better, your journal can keep track of your relationships with them and even document their favorite gifts. What do you like, Adeline? And what can I do to make you like me, Adeline? 
You can't listen. This is one. This is one of the romanceable characters. If you want to romance someone, you can't say this. It's desperate. It's desperation. I would not appreciate if someone said that to me. Well, tulips are nice, and they are in season right now. I hope you'll be growing some on your farm. You can view the map in your journal. It should give you a good idea of where people are. Isn't that helpful? And each time you meet someone, it will update. You can think of this as your first step, as the first step on our path to restoring the town. Isn't this exciting? Come talk to me once you're done meeting everyone. No, I didn't want to skip the cutscene. Oh, it's nice that you're given the option for like repeat playthroughs. Morgan, I'm glad I bumped into you. I've forgotten to mention. Make sure that you put anything you want to sell into the shipping bin next to your house. I'll pick up your shipments and leave your payment overnight. The shops in this town depend on the stock I procure for them, so we'll all be looking forward to your business. Ah, you must be Morgan. Welcome to Mystria. Getting really fucking miserable that this is a character I can't romance. I'm Nora. I run the general store in town with my husband and our daughters. Fuck, she's taken too. This fucking sucks. I'm also the head of the Chamber of Commerce and the Saturday Market. Though unfortunately, the Saturday market has been on hiatus since the earthquake caused the bridge in town to collapse. Homewrecker era? Please! Can someone make that- like, if this game has like a healthy modding scene, can someone just let me be a homewrecker, please? <laughs> Balor is currently the only merchant that even attempts the trip these days, and he has to do it all on foot. Broken bridge? I think I can help. Oh, right. Adeline did mention you'd be helping the town in exchange for the farm. If the broken bridge were repaired, all sorts of merchants could con resume bringing their wares to town on Saturdays. You'd love it. Anyway, if you need anything in the way of seed and supplies, please stop by the store anytime. Now, who do we have here? Are you the new farmer everyone's been talking about? Great to meet you, Morgan. I'm Hemlock. If you ever need a good, cold, good meal, a cold drink, or some good company, be sure to stop by the Sleeping Dragon Inn. There's always a cauldron of hearty soup kept hot for anyone who wants a bowl. Did you know my family runs the general store? Do say hello if I'm working my shift. I get kind of bored. Oh, hello. You must be the new farmer. My name's Rena. My family owns the Tri Sleeping Dragon Inn. It's a pleasure to meet you, Morgan. So what brings you to Mystria, if you don't mind me asking? That's so lovely. I'm excited to see what types of produce you'll grow. I have a passion for food, especially when it's locally sourced. Well, I hope you'll stop by and try my cooking sometime. I'll be looking forward to it. I'm gonna go outside and light myself on fire. Hello there. Well, you must be our new farmer. Adeline mentioned you'd be arriving soon. <laughs> Delighted to meet you, Morgan. You can call me Josephine, though I also go by Joe. <laughs> Sorry, I just had the urge to be like a fucking middle schooler. I, I, I resisted the urge. Joe mama, fuck! I run the Sleeping Dragon Inn with my husband, Hemlock, and our children, Rena, Maple, and Luck. Have you met them all yet? Stop by any time, dear. You're always welcome whether you need a meal or just want to chat. It'd be my pleasure to serve up either. Dude, look at all the animal plushes. Where the fuck are these other two kids? Are they not in the end? Oh, brother. Oh. Oh, these are extra doors. I didn't even notice.
<laughs> Every time you see one of the older residents, you imagine I'm like the one Cars meme with Lightning and Mater. I want you. That's literally how I feel. It's not fucking fair that every character that would, like, make me go crazy are the ones you can't romance. At least we still have the doctor. Has a soil quality on the old farm, Morgan. Those fields have been fallow a long, good long while. I bet they're raring for some crops. Divorce DLC? Dude, the crazy thing is, I might even be tempted to buy the divorce DLC. Hi, are you the new farmer? My name's Maple. Where did you live before you came here? Have you ever been to the capital? That's where the royal family lives, you know? You can ask me anything. I know all about them. Hello, are you the one moving to the old farm? I'm Del. That place is haunted, you know. Haunted with monsters. I swear I saw one hiding behind a tree. Let me know if you have any trouble and I can take care of them for you. Hello, do you like bugs? Yes. Excellent. My name's Luck. I'm so excited to have a fellow insect enthusiast in town. Finally. Wait until I tell my sisters. Dude, we had like swings as a kid, but honestly, we didn't have a swing on a tree. I wonder if that would have gone even crazier. What do we think? Do we think, like, the, the swings I had that were kind of, like, attached to a structure rather than attached to a tree? Do you think those are better or worse? I feel like aesthetically they're worse, but I feel like practically they're probably just, like, straight up better. I don't know, what if the tree branch falls? that you have the swing on. Has anybody considered that? Oh brother, no one's home. Where the hell are all the other villagers? All you need is one bad storm and the swing is gone. Dude, they had a fucking earthquake. I'm surprised it didn't take down, like, the whole tree. Anyone at the beach? Man, I'm exploring, like, every which way. And it's not bringing me to any villagers. Sorry, I was I was clicking around seeing what my buttons do. But Maxo Man's house. Oh man, I chose a really good name. Fuck. What the fuck? I can't grab these? How do I get them out of my damn field? Oh, I need the shovel. Wait, I'm an idiot. I need the fucking shovel. I was literally told, go buy a shovel. Dude, it's already 8 p.m. in game. I've barely talked to like anyone. Hope I can gather some cuttings tomorrow. Sorry for breaking into your house. Oh, there we go. It cost me all my damn money, but 
I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, we got a bunch of- YES! Hello, you must be the new farmer. Morgan, isn't it? Me? I'm the town's doctor. I run our clinic. No need for formalities, though. You can just call me Valen. <laughs> you too, Morgan. I hope you're getting settled in alright. Running a farm is hard work. Be sure that you get plenty of sleep and eat well to keep your energy up. I'll do anything for you. It's been a long day, but at least it's honest work, eh? So you're the newcomer. Is that right? Well, Morgan, you can call me Juniper. I recently opened the one and only bathhouse in this backwater village. Backwater bathhouse? What the hell? What's a lady like you doing in a place like this? Well, like you, I have my own reasons for being here. Anyways, please stop in often. By the look of it, you could certainly use it. The fuck? Uh, at least, at least they got a romance candidate for the people who like mean bitches. It's, Im it's important to the ecosystem. To be fair. Where's this? The name's March. What do you want? I'm Morgan. I don't see what that has to do with me. Regardless of what Adeline line says, we really don't need an outsider to come in and solve our problems for us. I, we have everything under control. Just don't get in the way. Okay. Here's the bathhouse. Dude, look at this animal! <gasps> Puppy! Oh, my bugs. Look at that thing. How is this a bathhouse? Dude, she's doing, like, witch's spells here and calling it a bathhouse. House with a bath in it? That's true. That's true, honestly. You right. Hi, Gina. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Dude, can I tell you, I've been playing so much Pokemon Go lately, and like... Oh, what's up, dude? Hello, are you the new farmer everyone's been talking about? I hear you'll be helping raise mystery as renown. How splendid. It seems we share a common goal. You can call me, call me Errol, the curator of Mysteria's brand new museum. I hope you'll consider donating some items. It's a great way to earn renown. You'll even receive rewards for each collection you complete. Let's support each other's efforts for mystery, eh? I'll be rooting for you, Morgan. I'm, like, so mad, though. I was, like... So I didn't realize that I didn't have a lot of the remote raid passes. I only had, like, three in my inventory. And I, like, used up all of them trying to do, like, Zerkatry raids. And, like, I won them... But I didn't fucking catch Zerkatry, and it pissed me off, because it's like, dude, what the fuck? That's such a rare guy. And, like, I never do raids in person, because, like, I don't know, man. I don't have the time to, like, organize that kind of thing. I don't want to use Facebook to organize with the Staten Island Pokemon Go community. So I did these remote raids. I used up all my remote raid passes, and I didn't even fucking get Zerkatry. And that's my tragic tale. And that's the tale of the Christmas Creedon. You're in the right spot for a Blacephalon last week, but it got away? That's so sad. Pokemon Go is a very cruel mistress. 
getting rather rather late. You should head home. I haven't introduced myself to everyone yet. I've introduced myself to like half of the town. Okay, more than half of the town, but still, not all of them. Fuck. I ask so much of you nowadays to get a damn legendary. You remember when you got Latias as a research breakthrough reward? I literally remember, like, I got one of the legendary beasts from that. I got Entei. And it was, like, it was simple, it was easy. They're so, like, stingy with them now. I don't know why. It's not like, le like, legendaries are very cool to have. They don't need to be the, 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 like, these impossibly rare things. At least not all of them. Like, listen, a Mewtwo, sure, whatever. I can't imagine Mewtwo is gonna be easy guy to get. Bro, you cannot tell me that it's, like, that hard to get, like, a Articuno. That doesn't make sense to me. It's fucking Articuno. I shouldn't have to do a raid just to get an Articuno. Stingy with them because they can wring money out of people who coordinate with hardcore players. Yeah. Yeah, it always comes back to the fact that Pokemon Go is still a free-to-play game. And listen, any free-to-play game, they're gonna want to get your money somehow. Even the best free-to-play games have this problem, is that they want your money. They know they can get a lot of money out of you if they balance the game the right way. It's annoying. I don't like it. But I... To an extent, I understand it. Free-to-play free games are like a necessary evil. Now, that doesn't mean I, I think they should be, like, overtly predatory, but, like, I think about it this way as, like, a video game enthusiast. If there weren't so many, like, free-to-play games out there now, there would be a considerably lower amount of people, like, playing video games these days. You know how many people consider th themselves, like, gamers now and they just play, like, Fortnite and, like, Apex Legends and shit? And they do that on, like, their phone? And that's, like, fine. That's not me, like, doing a call-out or anything. It's just that, like, it's something that helped them get into video games. And I think that's cool. I, j I just don't like the monetization aspect. I'm, I'm always gonna be a person where I'm like, listen, you wanna make a good game? Make me pay $60 for it. Don't put any, like, of that extra nonsense in it. Don't put in, like, microtransactions or a fucking battle pass. And I'm good. Honestly, that's my biggest problem with Splatoon 3. Above everything else, I just can't give a shit about a battle pass. I hate battle passes because they, they're, like, the ultimate, like, FOMO machine. It all feels like, oh, well, if you don't play in this specific season of the game, you're gonna miss out on this thing. And it's like... I'm not the kind of person where I play, like, a video game for, like, you know, months on end. I mean, I mentioned that I played, like, two Yakuza games in, like, the past two months, and, like, right now, I'm, like, fucking good on Yakuza. I'm, like, I gotta play other video games for now. So, like, a free-to-play game doing that, which is going to be a lot more repetitive than something like that, you know... A lot of free-to-play games have, like, kind of a easy gameplay loop. And they're good gameplay loops that get you addicted, but, like, very rarely will I actually play them for a crazy amount of time. Except my beautiful, beloved, uh, TF2. But that's beside the point. TF2 is just built different. TF2 is just different. Alright, I spent microtransaction money on that game because I like TF2 and think it's fucking fun. Sorry. Sorry! I'm fucking sorry. Um. But yeah, that was a whole tangent. I don't like battle passes. I think they're dumb. I think they're stupid. They added a battle pass system for Sims 4? What the fuck does the Sims need a battle pass for? What the fuck? It's fucking Sims. You just watch your guys. 
That's the game. <laughs> Fucking EA moment. Now we're in day two. Uh oh. Ah, good morning, Morgan. When I was here the other day, I noticed something suspicious about this tree. I believe it's covering old stonework. As head of the Historical Society, I thought I'd investigate, but this old bark is proving to be surprisingly tough. You have to log in three times a week for the rewards? They have fucking dailies? That's crazy. It's the fucking Sims. What on earth? <laughs> that is to say, Errol, Terithia, and Ulrich, when he can remember. I'd be delighted if you joined us. Whew, I think I need a moment. Let me take a swing at it. Oh, by all means. Here, you can have my axe. Everybody's giving me the dog shit. Tools. Incredible! This is a statue of Cal... Calderas. The mythical guardian of Mystria. Our ancient ancestors used to worship statues like this one. What an incredible find. Shame about the head, but with a little help from the newest member of the Historical Society, I think we can get see him as good as new. If you would, Morgan. Dude, my character's strong as hell. There we are. Don't you just love that sense of achievement? I believe that reconnecting with Mystria's past is the key to our future. This has been a most productive morning. Thank you for all of your help. Please keep the ask, and do let me know if you stumble upon any intriguing archaeolo archaeological finds yourself. By the way, everybody, I did get my order in from that one uh, Japanese, like, rental store. Not rental store. What am I saying? The fucking shovel doesn't get these. What the fuck? This fucking sucks. Oh, brother. I don't need to water these today, at least. But I, I, I wanted to say I now own the Mario Kart Live Mario kit. It was like $40, which is not a bad price considering they charged $100 for this thing. And it's a cute toy. I mean, it's like a whole like Mario Kart, like RC car that also just happens to have a camera on it so that they can do like the little thing with the racetrack. I'm definitely going to have to do a stream of Mario Kart Live at some point. Not tonight, though. Okay, let's see if we can find the other villagers we haven't talked to. We only have three days. That's how long it took that guy to make the potato salad. I don't know, I'm thinking about it again. Would I like more Battle Royales if they didn't have a Battle Pass? That could be. I mean, it's not that I don't like the Battle Royales that I've played. It's just that, like, honestly, still to this day, the most addicting Battle Royale that I've played was Tetris 99. And you know what? That shit didn't have a Battle Pass. It would have, like, fun events where you could get, like, skins for like games and stuff but that was about it and like that works that works that was enough to keep me playing for a bit i stopped playing at some point but like i don't know i feel like even after i got the victory royale i kept playing tetris 99 for a bit 
You can find artifacts all over Mistria. They can be donated to the museum or sold, but I really hope you'll donate them. I'm so happy you've taken over the old farm, Morgan. It was long neglected. I can't wait to see what you do with it. I know to some, Mistria may seem like a, a tiny backwater town, but keep an open mind. It has charms the capital could never offer. You'll see. Everybody's calling this place backwater. It's their favorite word. Dude, me and my coworkers were talking about like video games today. And at some point Apex Legends got brought up and like literally all of us were like, we can't name anyone who actually plays Apex Legends. Even though that game is, like, insanely popular, like, I don't have any friends who play it, they don't have any friends who play it. Apex Legends is, like, a fucking anomaly. It's, like, inexplicably, like, a huge video game that also, I don't think anybody who plays it, like, communicates with other people. I have never in my life had an online discussion where I was talking with an Apex Legends player. It hasn't happened. It's, like, maybe the fakest popular video game ever. And, like, I don't even know if it's, like, good or bad even, because I don't know anybody who talks about it. I don't know. I just know that it's, like, a Battle Royale. I almost played it. But that was on my shitty old computer that couldn't really run it. And now I'm just, like, eh. Remember Joey tried it out, but that's it? Dude, I didn't even know Joey tried it, to be honest. Elsie's telling us about some of her exploits in the capital. She's such a role model. The Countess didn't give me flowers until the morning after. Can you believe it? It was so memorable. So roguish of her. Wow, <laughs> this cauldron sure is fascinating, isn't it? You can't tease the bisexual old woman. And tell me she's not romanceable. I'm literally like... <sighs> Everything is so fucking hard. I still have to find five other people. Where are these five other people? I'm never gonna find them in time. Hello there, you must be the new face in town. Nice to meet you, Morgan. I'm Holt. I'd wondering who'd move into that old farm. I'm pleased to meet you too, Holt. Haha, <laughs> that's a good one. Anywho, my wife Nora and I run the general store. Our girls, Saline and Dell, help out as well. Stop by if you ever need supplies. Ah, oh, Morgan. Hope you're not spending your early days here overworking yourself. Not all time has to be spent productively. Leisure is good for you. Oh, Morgan. Sorry, I was daydreaming about what I'll do with the manor garden next season. Let me know if you need anything. Can you find me, like, the four other villagers that I'm missing? Sounds like there's going to be a bit of a crowd at the end tonight, Morgan. Hope to see you there. Yeah, sure. Okay, these are all the kids. We've already talked to the kids. I definitely haven't talked to you. Ahoy there, I'm Terathia, and who might you be? Ha, huh, that's right. Adeline mentioned her plan a while back. I didn't realize someone had taken her up on it. I run a little tackle shop out at by the beach. I sell fishing rods and a small selection of freshly caught fish. Feel free to stop by. Stop showing 
gonna meet all these beautiful women that I can't romance. Uh, I, Little Beepo's misery is increasing. Maybe they're just not in the village. Maybe they're somewhere on the border. Like, I don't know, maybe someone's at the Narrows. Who hanging out at the Narrows? As a representative of Mystria, it's my responsibility to get you oriented. So if you have any questions, please ask my sister Adeline. Unless you're looking for the best sweets in town, then I'm your man. Hey, that's my man. Oh God, where the fuck am I? Dude, I don't have anything but a fucking ax. Get me out of here. Western ruins. Ugh. I was thinking someone might be praying up there. Dude, this is gonna go hard as, like, a Steam Deck game. I can tell. I'm really mad at myself, semi-related to Steam Deck. I was playing Balatro, and, like, I had, like, a really, really fucking good run going. And, like, it had the potential to, like, snowball out of fucking control. And then I fucked up. And I, like, accidentally, like, pressed new run instead of endless mode when I beat it. And I was so fucking mad because I've been trying to grind out the achievement to get 300 million chips in one hand. I still have not gotten that achievement even though I've played for almost 100 hours. And I f fucked it up by pressing too fast. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's a consequence of having to control a game that I can control with mouse and keyboard with a controller. Well, someone said that a bunch of people were going to be in the end tonight. So I guess I have no choice but to socialize probably the only way I'm gonna get these remaining fucking villagers. I can't find anyone in this damn town! Oh shit, it is a party. Dude, are you drunk? Hello, Morgan, at Exploring the Town. Mystery has a number of historical sites you may come across on your journey. This area is a hot spot for archaeology, you know? If you notice any raised areas in the ground, try using a shovel or pickaxe on them. You never know what you might excavate. Oh, Morgan, are you finding your way around town all right? Making friends? Do you have enough to eat? Don't forget to take a big bowl of soup from the inn's pot. Rena changes the recipe daily. If no one's around, don't look. At, worry about it. We'll put it on your tab. Speaking of which, have you seen Balor around? Do the dried squid. Is 
So many foods that are locked. You're not allowed to make this much food in the demo. You know, Morgan, I admire that you've taken over the old farm. I thought about it myself, but I live too much by the seed of my plants. What do you think, Morgan? Hot cocoa or hot toddy? How about both and we can split them? What is hot toddy? Have you met my darling Island and Adeline? I'm their great aunt. Well, not by blood. Some of us were simply born aunties, you see. When we were kids, Holtz and I tried to make a band with Joe, but the two of us never had any musical talent. I'm so happy she met Hemlock. They're such a pair. Remember when I tried to make a standing base for my mom's wash basin? She never forgave me for putting that hole in the bottom. And that's when the Leviathan breached the surface. Half shark, half kraken, half stingray. I wish I was half shark. I'll be half kraken. That's a lot of halves, Myth Miss Terathea. It's always f some fun having new people in town. We used to be a much livelier town back before the earthquake. I hope you're the first of many. Nature can be inconvenient, but it sure is nice when rain waters my garden in one go. You can relate, right, Morgan? I gotta find these other villagers or it's gonna kill me. Oh, look at them singing. Come in from the cold of while, put on the mint and the chamomile. Dude, nobody's watching the general store. Let's rob the place! I know what you're thinking. I wasn't expecting to spend my hottest years in this podunk town, but here I am. Oh, just me? Hmm. You're new in town. I'd like to give you your first checkup. Don't worry, it's free. We're not unreasonable here. What does the checkup do? Oh. I think she was just saying that. What if I want to be checked out by the doctor? What of it? Huh? Who the fuck lives in the bell house? Oh, I'm gonna run out of time in the demo before I find these three other townspeople. Wait, I found two of them today? I thought I only found one. Who the fuck was the other person I talked to? Well, whatever. Yeah, I know. Go to the damn museum. Well met, mortal. You're the guardian dragon? I am Kaldaris, the guardian of Mystria. Thank you for repairing my shrine. I have been asleep since. Well, I can't seem to remember exactly. Even now, my mind is shrouded in fog. Magical essence has begun to flow again in Mystria. Of that much, I am certain. I ask you to extend your assistance once more, mortal. I need you to collect this essence and offer it at my shrine so that I may regain my strength. I hereby bestow upon you the ability to sense and collect essence. You should find it naturally when going about your daily task. Hey, I just noticed this character has the purple heart. Can you romance the dragon? I grow tired. Let us speak again tomorrow at my shrine. Sleep now, mortal. We will speak again soon. 
Dude, honestly, this game kind of would go crazy if you could romance the dragon. I have to be honest. I don't know how to get these out. Oh, well, I guess I gotta water them. For one thing, I gotta water them. So wait, I have farming level 6 already? How did I do that? Okay, so you can upgrade all your different skills. That's neat. I like that. Dude, I have to find these three villagers today, or I'm going to fucking scream. Not actually, though. I don't think I could scream it even if I tried right now. I don't know, the throat's a little scratchy. What? 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 <laughs> The game just crashed? Erm. Um. <laughs> Why did that- what? Huh? Huh? Game? I tried reopening it. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. How did I already figure out a way to crash this game? That was like completely accidental too. I'm really fucking talented at breaking video games. Now devs need to watch every moment for bug fixing, including my lament for older women. <laughs> At least they threw me a bone with Dr. Valen. Thank fucking God for Valen, otherwise it would be desolate for me. I don't know, it was just somewhere in this area. I was like hopping around and all of a sudden the video game got mad. I do like the idea that if I sent in a bug report also, I would just send it as, like, the full stream. And be like, hey, can you watch this up to this point so you can, like, fix this bug? Luck's teaching me about bees. I just want to hear about the queens, though. Many insects live in trees. If you give the trunk a little shake, sometimes they'll come out to say hello. 
Good morning. You ever raise a cow, Morgan? Marvelous animals. Everyone should have a cow or two around the house. It's gonna drive me crazy. I need to find these two people. Or th rather these three people. I know they're out there. Takes a little bit for the music to kick in, I've noticed. Dude, I don't know what I'm gonna do if I actually run out of time in the demo before I talk to everyone. I'm gonna be a little upset. I don't know, I might shed a tear. Well, no, that's not true. If, like, not being able to romance the older women couldn't get me to cry, there's no way that me not talking to all the villagers is gonna do that. Like, I have to be honest with myself. There's, there's simply a greater pain. Nobody can say I didn't try, to be fair. Carpenter shop. Well, where's the carpenter at? Dude, have I talked to the carpenter? I feel like the carpenter is probably one of the characters I'm missing. The name's Landon. You must be the one Lady Adeline was talking about. My nephew, Rise, is around your age. He's taken the lead at the carpenter shop since I retired. We sell everything from crafting stations and furniture recipes to farm buildings and home upgrades. Stop by any time. Every farmer needs a shovel, eh, Morgan? It's a groundbreaking invention. All right, you're trying to advertise to me. I don't know if I appreciate it. Chin up, turn your head to the side. Let me check your lymph nodes. Good, good. I felt something there. I knew I would be smitten from the moment I saw her. Ah, you must be Morgan, right? Nice to meet you. Welcome to Mystria. I'm Rice. Er, I'm Rise. I run the carpenter shop with my uncle, Landon. If you have any interest in crafting, let me know. I'd be more than happy to give you some tips. Well, woodworking is my specialty. I'm sure you'll want to make things like fences and furniture for your farm, right? Feel free to use the crafting station near the town square. If you stop by the carpenter shop, you can also purchase some crafting recipes if you like. Anyway, good luck getting settled in. Let me know if you need anything. I know you just r arrived, but I wouldn't get too comfortable. Okay, dude. Who am I missing now? I'm missing one person. 
I'm missing whoever this is. After a while, you get to know people by their shopping habits. For instance, Island will always browse through the whole store, but he always ends up at the sweets shelf. I'm on a tear today. Sometimes leaving my office really helps open my frame of mind. Now that you've moved to Mystria, it's only a matter of time before my oldest will have you taste testing her dishes. Rena gets everyone eventually. I'll lose my shit if I don't find this last person. Something bad is going to happen if we don't find this last person. Is it not the fucking dragon? Is the dragon even registered as a person here? No. Maybe you can't actually romance the dragon. Hi, welcome to the bathhouse. Oh, it's you. Talk to Dozy. I'm going back to sleep. Damn, okay. Sorry. She's definitely someone's type. What if I just find a random artifact? And everybody is so happy with me. Dude, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. We're running out of time. We're running out of time. I have seven in-game hours to find this person. Are they hiding below my fields? Well, they can't be, because there's no fucking way to get down there. All on account of those very conveniently placed stones. That I'm just simply incapable of jumping over. Alright, it's not something I want to admit, but unfortunately, I don't have the fucking aerodynamics to jump over those rocks. Okay? I'm sorry. I can't find anyone. I'm getting further and further away from society. I wonder why the music takes so long to kick in. I feel like that can't be intentional. That was like an hour and a half of in-game time where there were no tunes playing. And then the bell rings and it stops playing again. Something funky is going on. 
Well, game dev is hard. I wouldn't begin to know what bug would possibly cause the music to take so long to start. I'm not wise enough. That statue on your farm might be older than the rest of Mystria. It's the oldest thing here, as far as our written records are concerned. Island could probably tell you more. Oh, it's you. If you need help with anything, let me know. Go bother someone else. I'm busy. Hey, I'm okay. It definitely has to be a bug. I don't know. It's a little scary. I feel like I'm gonna get to the end of the third night and Freddy Fazbear's gonna show up and he's gonna be like, go to hell. And I won't like it because I don't know that guy like that. Whoa, are you the new farmer everyone's been talking about? The one who's come to help out the town? That's super cool. Nice to meet you, Morgan. The name's Ulrich. My brother and I live at the blacksmiths. I hope we can be friends. Hey, you're a way nicer guy than he is. I'll tell you what. Anyways, I fucking did it. I think. Oh my god, it says the map. <laughs> the map can help me find people, can it? Oh, I'm fucking stupid. I'm stupid. <laughs> well, isn't it about the journey and not the destination in the end? Damn, I could have used this the whole time. <laughs> it's like a really convenient map, actually. Well. I did find everyone. I did it in the least convenient way possible, but I found everyone. Damn, I feel... Dumb as fuck now. I could have been using the map the whole time. See, now I can't submit this stream for a bug test. Because that'll be, like, too embarrassing. How can you be bad at a video game where the whole point is to grow fucking vegetables? Well, I found a way. Dean is my favorite place to unwind, no matter the season. I imagine you're very busy getting situated, but I wanted to ask, have you had a chance to see Mistria off the beaten path? There are ruins and artifacts to be found everywhere. This land is rich with history. I heard Island found an ancient statue on your farmstead. That happens a lot around here. He even said the Sleeping Dragon Inn was a historical landmark. It does go pretty far back, come to think of it. Hemlock's been a real friend since I took up residence in Mistria, but I'm still not going to go easy on him when we play cards. Well, I got acquainted with everyone, at least. Can't say it was a complete waste of time what I did. I didn't do a whole lot of farming, but eh, we, ta we take it one step at a time. See? And I chopped down one tree. Okay? How can you say that's not progress? I chopped down one tree. Well, when I press next day, it's gonna tell me the demo's over. Oh, August 5th, everyone. You know I'll be checking it out. This is a fun demo. This is a fun demo. I didn't do a whole lot of the farming, but, I mean, getting to interact with everyone was fun. I like that it kind of has RPG vibes a little bit. It's definitely, like, more farming sim than RPG, but... 
I don't know. It's cool. I like this game so far. I think this game, I think this game's pretty good so far. That's what I think. Also, oh my god, Adrian, I just saw what you sent. That's fucking crazy. They have fucking weeklies in The Sims now. That's insane to me. What the fuck? Bog, not in The Sims. Alright. It's not that late yet. Um, I'm gonna take a quick BRB. Um, I kind of have to consider what I'm going to play afterwards. I wish that TF2 wasn't broken. Everybody's talking about, like, unfucking TF2 right now. So, like, I don't know. I don't think I can play TF2, even though I kind of want to. Dude, there's overwhelmingly negative reviews on TF2 right now. They dragging Valve's asses. time Valve does something about the bots, the game has been overrun with people willing to dox, DDoS, and SWAT. Anyone who digs action against the problem? Oh my god. I'm not touching that then. That's scary. I don't know. That's scary. Well shit, what the fuck do I play then? What the hell do I play then? That's all the video games there are. I say as I look through my Steam library of like 500 games. Bro, brother, I'm sorry. I'm not playing Counter-Strike 2. Apparently I have the, the, the highest level trading card badge in Counter-Strike 2. Which is very fucking funny. It's also funny that because they changed the name of the game, but released the cards before they did that, all the Counter-Strike 2 trading cards still say CSGO on it. Remember when that shit was called CSGO? Remember the 90s? I do. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I have a funny idea. I have a funny idea. Okay, I'm gonna take a BRB. Uh, when we come back, uh, we're going to play Pokemon Showdown, but specifically, we are going to play Baby Random Battle which is a new randomized format where you get to play with baby Pokemon, which I think is extremely fucking funny. I forgot that this released. Um, I'll catch you all in a sec.